All right, Charlie Abrigo here with the Glass Reporter Zoo is here with our zoo guest of the week. And I like all our guests, but this <laughs> guest is kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> and me too, eh? To tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to look at him for afar. So we yeah. know it's a toad, but it's a specific toad. Yeah, it's a marine toad, which they have other names. They're also uh, known as the cane toad. Um, and um, they're found in um, like like maybe northern um, South America, Central America, but they've been known to be an invasive species. Um, so they've been found in parts of Austra Australia and some of the Caribbean islands because they were introduced to kind of help with a, uh, with a specific beetle that's becoming a nuisance. Right. And they did their job of eating them, but then they became the nuisance animal. So um, they, they, uh, just because they're very large, they are, they are carnivores, so they'll eat um, almost anything. And some a lot of places are eating um, animals that really what? didn't have a chance to sort of protect themselves that never encountered a predator just like this so wow <laughs> and this is as big as he gets i told you it was gonna pee <laughs> i'm just glad he didn't pee on me is that like a defense mechanism it though because he is not very happy with it's us right not now. very happy with me right now and and um, that's one of their defense mechanisms to pee all over of something <laughs> and which he just did on me <laughs> and um and also they have um poison glands so i have to make sure i wash my hands right after this yeah. because um a lot of people ask me they well they confuse that um a snake has poison, but a snake has venom. Right. It's more specifically, it's, it's venomous um, because it has to be injected into you. That means they, that's why the snakes bite you. Um, the the t toads, for example, are poisonous because that has to be ingested. So something has to actually eat this or come in contact with their skin. And then um, eat something without cleaning your yeah, hands. Yeah, and without cleaning your hands. So if I did that, then I would be kind of bad. Maybe so. a good rule of thumb if you touch those toads in general. Yes. Just to wash your hands Exactly, if you like exactly, because um, you never know what you're touching. No. And they might pee on you like they just did me. Yeah, that's, that's a <laughs> lot too. All right, well, let's talk about the, the discount day that you have coming up for the Winter Texans. Yeah, actually, we have a discount day coming on February 3rd. Um, it's going to be a good uh, evening from about 10 to 3. We're going to have some activities for Winter Texans to go on. So all you have to do is um, come by that day, um, show proof of residency, and you'll get in for a really great discount of 450. And if, of course, if you have any information, or if you want any information or have any questions, call 546-7187 or visit us online at gpz.org. All right. Thank you so much, Charlie. And well, hopefully <laughs> he doesn't go to the bathroom again. 